So for whatever the reason, I thought of Beavis and Butthead. And uh, you, Beavis and Butthead, you got your B and your B. So you have an 88 with Beavis and Butthead. Um, the show uh, was actually based off of or it originated from Frog Baseball, a 1992 short film by Judge that was originally aired on Liquid Television. So 1992 was 22 years ago. And then the first actual television show of Beavis and Butthead was on March 8th, 1993. So you have your 3-8. But you, it gets more interesting, and you, you can't make this up here. Scroll down here. Number of seasons, eight seasons, number of episodes, 222 episodes. And another 88 is, um, remember, King of the Hill? You got Hank Hill, right? H-H, that's eight and eight. Well, I mean, it doesn't say that he's based off of him, but uh, Hank Hill, everybody knows, is totally... If you ever watch Beavis and Butthead, he is totally Mr. Anderson on the show. They Same guy. They just basically made a spinoff, and they called it King of the Hill. So Beavis and Butthead, uh, totally, they have a decent amount of Tribe of Dan references. Um, the guy who created it is Mike Judge, and the Tribe of Dan are the judges, right? Let's click on him here. So you have Beavis. And I'm going to emphasize the B, Beavis, wearing a Metallica shirt. And Metallica is all about the Tribe of Dan. Um, I'll maybe leave a link to, like, Enter the Stars videos. He covered it pretty extensively about Metallica and the Tribe of Dan. But uh, I'll show you here. Just one little quick example is there Metallica's 1998, 1988 uh, album was called And Justice for All, so Justice, Judge, and they also have the scales and balances on the cover, and among many other things, but just wanted to point that out, um, and I will, I'll find a link and leave it in the description so you can go check it out to learn more about Metallica and Bees and uh, what it all has to do with everything. And then you have Butthead who wears the ACDC shirt. And I didn't do extensive research into this. I just kind of looked at it really quick. Um, but ACDC, ACDC formed in 19, November of 1973. And uh, their original lead singer died um, his name was Bon Scott. And before you even really get that far into it here, when you find out about his death, you find out that he died in the back of a, of a car from like alcohol, uh, poisoning or whatever. Let's see here. But what I found interesting was that he died in the back of a car it was owned by an acquaintance named Alistair Kinnear or something. But Alistair, right away, that's a red flag to me, that he died in the back of a guy's car named Alistair. And you have Alistair Crowley. I don't know. It's pretty weird. Also, the 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 funeral guy, or embalmed by it, was Desmond Henley. And he was born in 1926 which is 88 years ago. And you scroll down here, and he also was like the funeral guy for a bunch of famous people. I think Jimi Hendrix. Um, man, I can't even find it now. It was something to do with the royal family, too. Yeah, it says here, he uh, had uh, he's assisted in arranging the funerals of many members of the royal family. And then you also have, like, Judy Garland, Jimi Hendrix. Um, but anyway, besides the point, I want, there's some other stuff I wanted to show about Beavis and Butthead, and I want to make it kind of short because I keep making really long videos. So I'm just going to skip out on the whole looking up ACDC. And talk. So I decided just to uh, 
kind of go through here and uh, look at the episodes. So there was eight seasons, and I was like, oh, I wonder what about episode 88. So I scrolled down to episode 88 here. If I can ever find it here. It's called Crisis Line. And right away, I noticed Tribe of Dan. Uh, the artists that are on the show, they always like play music videos and whatnot. They, they play Danzig, the mother, the music video. So let's click on Danzig. So Danzig is crazy. But let's just click on the lead singer here. Glenn Danzig, just to prove a point here. So I made videos about the fives being five 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 being sixes and 1955 and 59 years. Um, so look at this. This guy literally born June 23rd, uh, which technically could be a six and a six, uh, 1955, and he's 59 years old. So. That is, like, all the exes and the Antichrist people that I've been talking about. We Like, Kevin Costner and the Willem Dafoe. They're all born in 1955, aged 59. So, I wonder, he might have some stuff to do with exes. I didn't get that far into it. But, uh, anyway, let's just go back here and let's look at Danzig's albums. I mean, just read these here. If you don't... You don't believe me. Look at this. It's freaking two. Lucifuge. How the Gods Kill. Black Acid Devil. Satan's 666 Satan's Child. 777i Luciferi. Circle of Snakes. What in the world? Like, people buy these albums? That doesn't... I mean, I don't even get it. That doesn't creep them out that to, some, to some extent. But uh, anyway... Danzig's first album actually came out in 1988. And also the name Danzig has everything to do with the tribe of Dan. And wouldn't you know, on uh, the first song on the album, you have James Hetfield from Metallica does backing vocals. And the song's called Twist of Cain, and he also does uh, backups on Possession, I guess. Like, two crazy names for one um and then look at number eight here eights and time travel and whatnot number eight on the first album in 1988 is called end of time okay so i found episode 88 here online so let's just check it out a little bit here um the highest i kind of want to go back and watch all the beavis and buttheads now uh but I, I just don't have time tonight, so maybe I'll, I'll watch a ton of them and make more videos. But uh, right off the bat, you have Highland High School, so you got your HH once again. So right off the bat, they're sitting in class, and they talk about the crisis line, and they volunteer to answer the phone calls. So like when people call in and have a crisis, they're going to be the ones who answer the phone. And then it skips over to them watching the Danzig video, and they talk about the lead singer he's like this big buff dude and they say he wondered they wonder what he does when he's not doing this and they said he probably fights people or whatever like uh danny bonaducci and then they laugh about it because it sounds like douche you know uh bonaducci or whatever and if you go to danny bonaducci well he's born in august of 1959 so he's age 55 so you got 55 and 59 again and Danny, you also have the Tribe of Dan reference again. And, I don't know, was it the ACDC guy, um, something Bon? I don't know, just throw that out there. Okay, and this is what really got me here. They totally do this on purpose, there's no doubt in my mind. Just look where they're sitting, it's not even blocking it. It says, Crisis Hotline, I'm assuming Headquarters, right? And... Look, they're not blocking it at all. They're not block. Look at the letters they're blocking with their heads. Now let's go through here on a different scene here. Now it shows the chalkboard here, uh, an up close thing here. And look what it says: 
Ates. A T E S. Ates. Then the phone rings and Butthead answers it, and then it shows eight. And then some girl calls in about her boobs aren't growing, and he says, This chick's flat. And then it comes back to here and it shows the eights again, so it goes eights, eight, eights. Okay, well, uh, it's, they, they go back to that thing and they do the eights on the chalkboard multiple times. Um, the, the video also, I'm not sure if this is how long it is on, um, the actual show or whatever, but this video I found online here, it's 11 minutes and 11 seconds long. So 11, 11, um, the 88th episode, uh, I don't know. It's just kind of weird, so uh, I'm going to go. I'm probably going to watch a bunch of the Beavis and Butthead stuff um, and maybe make some more videos. But anyway, uh, have a great night.